name is Chase Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in between my two favorite guys who usually do serious podcasts, you know, uh, where we're doing things where it's socially relevant, you know. They've covered uh, health and well-being, they've covered homelessness. And I felt that, hey guys, you know what? Let's show your fun side. Let's do something a little bit fun. So first of all, let me turn over here to the moderator, who's usually in the case, but not today. <laughs> my man Mark. Hey, hi, Chase. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, Mark here. As Chase said, we've done some serious topics, but today we're going to have a bit of fun and talk about what, what we like doing. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to hearing what that is for you, Mark. But either way, right now. <laughs> but either way, also too is that I felt that this fun podcast should be really good for my man, Mr. Hunter, over here because you know he's really come leaps and bounds with his consonants. But he's kind of like created this aggressive, you know, character who's always the contrary to Mary. But I know he's just a pussy cat. So introduce yourself, Dan. Yeah, to... uh, yeah, I'm Jamie, and hopefully, uh, I'm hoping for this uh, will show another person, persona, another personality. I'm pretty sure it will, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, the main thing about it is, is that we all have different facets to our being knowing, you know, including yourself. And, I mean, first of all, you know, I mean, all joking aside, you know, I mean, watching you grow has really been a tremendous thing, and I'm pretty sure it has been for you as well. Tell us a little bit about that, you know, about, you know, this character you've been building. But uh, the character I've been building is, is really necessarily um, the fact that I've been involved in various different debates, and uh, when I brought on this particular character, I've, um, I've grown in terms of confidence and, uh, and, and being more passionate about what I'm talking about. So that's shown yeah. in my conduct. Yeah, exactly, man. You're on fire, man. I see the steam rising right off of you. What about you, Mark? What do you think? Well, I, I think that Jamie's confidence has shown through his success because he's taken on a different avatar in terms of some of the debates that we've had. And, you know, maybe. Been very skilled at playing the devil's advocate, always putting a, the word I'm looking for. you know, putting a putting an alternative view, and I think it's actually added fuel to the debate and actually sparked us all to think in different directions. So it's been great working alongside Jamie, and he's a, he's a great guy, and he's obviously also told us about some of his work with the uh, the Merseyside uh, Mercy, Mercy Care. Did you say? Yeah, right. Life rooms, Mercy Care. Life rooms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just a but, but maybe now we're going to hear more of the fun side of Jamie and. Uh, Exactly, but first before we hear the sun side of Jamie, right? Say way! Mark, <laughs> you usually are like the moderator, so you usually are what we call the man in the middle, you know, like the guy in the chair yeah. and stuff like that. But now you're on a different seat. I'm on a different right? seat. You're on a different seat that hopefully is not too hot. Oh, you're on the left. <laughs> not the all right, you're on the left. Well, it depends on how we look at it. I mean, what about you there, Mark? I mean, like, do you tell us some of the. When we talk about our favorite things, right? I mean, like, um, what about you? Like, what, what, what are you something that you're passionate about or you really enjoy? Well, you know, thanks, Chase, for giving me an opportunity to, to tell you guys. But I guess one of the, you know, coming onto this course, one of my favorite things is to keep my mind active and to immerse myself in opportunities for learning. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a whole big agenda, you know, this whole continuing thing of lifelong learning. Um, meeting new people, exposing yourself to new things, and I think it's, it's great. As my grandmother used to say, you know, knowledge doesn't have any weight. It, you're not carrying a huge weight, but it's just going to be something that's going to be to your, hopefully to your benefit. And uh, I think coming together, sharing ideas with other people, it really does, you know, give me a good, good feeling. Um, some of my favorite things, though, in terms of outside, uh, I love going to cinema. Here in Bolton, we've got an absolutely thriving local theatre scene. Really? We've got some marvellous local companies, uh, Bolton Little Theatre, we've got Farmer Little Theatre, going to put in a big plug for a group of Marco players. And of course, oh man, Marco players! Yeah. Well, well, it's the Marco players, it's a great name, so it's a great name. Are, are, like, are they like your local amateur dramatics? These are three amateur dramatics. Three? The three, three Marcos? There's, 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 there's three, no, 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 the, the Bolton Little Theatre, the... Uh, oh, The jewel of the crown here is, is Bolton Toxicon Theatre, so again, I, I get on there. Okay, okay, now, now you call it Jewel of the Crown. What's the latest production? Um, the oh, latest he doesn't know. I 
<laughs> I think they've just finished the production of Hammond, actually, which uh, unfortunately I didn't get along to see. But maybe it's in this last week, so I'll get along there. But yeah, what yeah. about you guys? Are you theatre buffs? Do you like it? Well, one of the things that I'm really excited about is that tomorrow I'm going to go with a friend and see a film um, called The Darkest Hour. And it's oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in church. Church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Gary Orban, yeah. and yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, but something, something that I would love to see, and I'd love to see like the new two made film. I've, I've seen a lot of them. Why that? Do you want to see the new two made film? Yeah, come on. Because because it's there. Uh, because I'm, because when I was younger, I used to play the game. Play oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> Have you ever tried to have yoga? Huh? 
Half a year ago. Half a year ago. Have you ever tried yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right? When you go into a studio and they close the door and they just build the temperature up with a lot of heat and... Uh, yeah, and yeah. because the yoga instructor yeah. was hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yoga instructor might be hot as well. <laughs> 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 But that, that's, that's, <laughs> you know, the half of yoga sounds very, very good. Yeah. Can you recommend it for other people? Yeah, can you recommend any conditions that they've got? Yes, I can recommend it for many people. It will help you with mental illness, like depression, oh, exactly. Yeah. And it will also Because the, 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 Face. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I totally, I totally did you. Because I mean, I knew that, like, as my brought up, I knew you were you're a big fan of yoga and everything else like that. But speaking of big fans or something, you're a big fan of biking. Yeah, I, I mean, again, I think it fits, fits in with what, what so we're talking health about. Well health and well being. And Jamie told me about yoga. And thanks to one of my brothers who uh, is a double Ironman, he uh, has got me into a bit of what? Man? Ironman. Oh, so the Iron Man. Man. Yeah, which yeah. we have here in Bolton, so I want to give that a plug for Bolton because we host... What are you talking about? They have a strongman competition? Well, it's not a strongman competition. Oh. What it is, it's a triathlon competition. Oh, I love triathlon. Where yeah. the athletes start off with a swim, then they transition yeah. into a bike, and then they finish off by running a marathon. So it's uh, oh, man, that is, quite an achievement yeah. for anybody that's done that. But yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean... Uh, have you ever done a tough mode? No, but I've got several friends that have done it. I've heard really? about that, yeah. So I've heard about it too, but I mean, yeah. it seems like it's too tough. But then we're back to your uh, mud bath in, uh, where was it? Turkey? Turkey. Why do you want to go back there? That's <laughs> <laughs> in the mud. Uh, yeah, I know, I was in a mud bath in Turkey and it was all over Facebook. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, imagine going into a restaurant, walking down the street, somewhere, go, hey, man, I just saw you in Turkey, man. What's up with that mud bath? It's like, whoa, I don't know you. Right? You know, because if you're in a bath, you're kind of like naked. So anyway, um, as far as sports, I will just say, you know, just not leave myself out of this. I used to be a champion weightlifter, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, well, high school. <laughs> but uh, Lou Ferrigno had gone to my high school. You know the Incredible Hulk? Yes. And he's just been here, well, he was just, I keep thinking we're in Liverpool, but he was just in Liverpool at the Comic Con. Wow. And everything. Wait, 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 wait. Did you make my way? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for that though. Um, but yeah, no, I used to do. Uh, do you know um, deadlift? Deadlifts, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you do what is it called? Uh, snatch and jerk, is it? And you get it up onto the shoulders. Or how do you do it? What's the no, same? that's powerlifting. Powerlifting. <laughs> sorry, snatch and jerk. So tell me about deadlifting. Kind of personal. Yeah, so no, <laughs> you lift the weight uh, up right. to your uh, knees, so it's like you squat, yeah. and then you, you bring it up to your knees. Wow. But I would do like, uh, I would get up to like 600 pounds. Now, of course, I don't know the English metric system, so I don't know what that is in kilometers or whatever, but I would do like 600 pounds, but I also did it without a belt. Wow. Stupid. So, yes, I have lower sacroiliac problems, mm -hmm. which I'd probably take your advice on the yoga there, Jamie. This curious. You're trying to flex. I'm just curious, do you think I've, I've got this strength? <laughs> <laughs> you got the strength of uh, 10 normal men. You got the strength of 10 normal men. <laughs> yeah, you got the strength so of 10 normal men. When you were lifting this 600, 600 pounds. Yeah. How far do you just take it to the No, you only have to you only just have to bring it up to your knees, right? right. So you know, it's like basically your squat and wow. then you like bring it up to here. But it's really it's really uh I can't believe it, six hundred pounds. That's like three times my weight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the deal is is that um so it's big, you know, upper arm yes, straight, yes, back straight. Yes, yes, but yes. the main thing about it is it's like the, the belt scenario because a lot of the weight is on your lower back. Of course. You know, um, yes. which 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 was really good. But I I did a little bit of powerlifting, but not like <laughs> those guys you see on the Stormman. So when you said the Iron Man competition, mm -hmm. you no. know. <laughs> I mean no no. But I could do those things, you know, like you sing the strongman competition, you sing the mm -hmm. strongman competition, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I love watching that because I could do that thing, it's like, you know, when you like pick up like uh, kettlebells, but they would pick up barrels. They walk with it, see, I mean, you know, strength is in the neck, is it? 
You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you know, it's a lot of their shoulders and stuff like that. So, see, you know, that, that, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. some shoulder there. But how much? That's some shoulder there, Popeye. How much <laughs> would you do uh, lift on the powerlifting? How much would you take on the powerlifting? Well, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't really like, half that, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, I was only like, when I was doing it, I was only like 300 now. That's amazing. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be amazed if I could get to like 150 or something like that. Uh-huh. But because the main thing about the powerlifting was is how you roll it up your chest. And then like it's resting here, yeah. And then you have to push it up. So it's like what a lot of people. That's where the wings are, you know. So that's where a lot of the uh, uh, strength comes from. Is there? A lot of people don't use that. Do you remember like Bruce Lee? Yes. Yes. You remember Bruce Lee? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, remember uh, he uh, when he did our. Uh, it was a game of that, but he also I think was a Return of the Dragon where he was like. How to tiny him trying? I said Bruce Lee, but no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or the, he would, he like would, he would, he would flex out his wings, but he was such a thin guy that he would just like, it would be like a puffer fish. Wow. You know, the, I mean, if you look at it, it's yeah, a very yeah, classic yeah. scene in the movie. Oh, yes. yes. You turn yes. it into the fist. What? Is it the Iron Fist? Uh, the cartoon? <laughs> so, <laughs> the comic book? You know, there was a movie. There was a movie called The Rule of the Iron Fist for David Chia. But, like, uh, you know what? The last year, if we were really doing my favorite things, Kung Fu movies of the 70s would be my favorite thing, but I would think that neither of you would know it. I don't know Kung Fu movies, I'm so sorry. Chase. Anybody who likes Kung Fu movies of the 70s, come on and chat with me because, I mean, you know, I mean, what, there's more than Bruce Lee. I can go all the way down history, but I'm pretty sure our time is coming to a near just, end. Just before you go, can I just plug, um, there's a lovely go to um, the Holistic Hub in Southport, brilliant, brilliant place, much better than uh, Mark's place, and it's... Uh, <laughs> Mark's place? <laughs> much better than Mark's place? Uh, that sounds like fine words, Mark. Uh, uh, holistic Hub in Southport. The Holistic Hub is much better than your place. Where is your place at? Well, we're in Bolton. <laughs> What's it called, though? Plug it like he did. Well, <laughs> the triathlon doesn't actually have a place. But doesn't have a place. The rat, well, his place is much better than my place. That's it. His place is like a place. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think you were just only talking about a competition, not a place, but that's okay, Jamie. You know, I'm glad you like your place. Um, check it out. <laughs> yeah, the whole list of up, why not? Yeah. <laughs> check out the Iron Man competition. Yeah. And please, watch a Kung Fu movie. <laughs> you know? Did you guys have fun? Yeah, you did. Yeah, sure. Jamie, did you fall off that chair? Not really, <laughs> but almost. <laughs> Mark, did you have fun? Great stuff. Thanks, Chase. Yeah. Good being here. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, look, I enjoyed being here with you guys. You know, I enjoyed Jamie falling off the chair. I enjoyed Mark trying to educate us on something, and I enjoyed me talking about wings. <laughs> <laughs> And I enjoy laughter because laughter is the best medicine ever. So anyway, thanks for joining us here on this totally improvised podcast. Let me digital. Wow. Voice box.